And yes, here we are, Espresso Session. It's another Tuesday, and we are here live, San Francisco Mission District. Oh, you can keep it on, you can keep it on. Welcome. <laughs> We are here in the studio, we have um, a tropidelic night uh, event, um, we have uh, a Bernie and Gilberto, welcome guys to BFF, how are you guys doing tonight? Today. A little toasty, but uh, we're surviving, the fan is nice. and The fan is nice, eh? yeah. feels good, yeah, it's a hot day in San Francisco, make yourself situated, alright? So we're going to talk about this tropidelic night that is happening this Thursday, this coming Thursday at the, the Boom Boom Room in San Francisco in the Fillmore. Uh, and uh, we also have um, uh, Gilberto from Almas uh, Fronteriza. Saludos, saludos. Sal de, de Almas Fronteriza is what's happening in San Francisco in the world. Happy to be here in BFF.FM. Yes. <laughs> So Thursday is gonna happen the first uh, tropical uh, tropidelic night. Um, uh, Bernie here, uh, fresh pots. Um. So, so the idea is uh, hopefully this will be a monthly thing at the Boom Boom Room. Uh, tropidelic is uh, global, psych, tropical, Latin, uh, funky. I, I call it um, uh, rhythm and groove with an edge. So something something that's that's you know that'll get you moving, but hopefully there's a little edge to it. Something that'll kind of keep you keep you uh, on your toes so Almas Fronteriza definitely does that here in the bay a uh, little psychedelic soul low rider croony romantic but it definitely definitely uh, takes you on a trip and same with Rudy Rudy is uh, he's dope so it'll be it'll be it'll be a nice vibe and a, and a good party and and Gemma Gemma um, from LA is also coming up uh, she'll start off the show and she's a little bit more more uh, vibey sultry sensual but there's still a little bit of that of that psych vibe that that'll kind of tie it all together so i'm excited yeah it sounds exciting exciting too and also it's um, you know the this tropidelic is uh, like the desert meets the ocean no and the what is in between uh, yeah and creates I like, uh, like uh like the you see the uh, how do you call it? Like when, you, when, you, when you're really thirsty and you start to see like a fake paradise and you yeah, start hallucinating? We, we call it Fada Morgana in Italian. No, uh -huh. you say like, whoa, you see so you, you know, in the desert you start hallucinating. No? Yeah. And uh, yeah. That's a good idea. That's a, yeah. I got I to gotta, I gotta work that in somehow. Hallucinations. Hallucinations yeah. are, are healthy. It, it, it gets you closer to... Oh, gets yeah. you closer to uh to what's really going on in here i think exactly the essence of thing like unveiling the reality yeah yeah for sure so and uh, we we have um uh today tonight today during this radio show we're gonna explore like the sonic uh, vibes of the of tropidelic tr yeah. now you prepare also a playlist for sure and uh, Gilberto from uh, Almas, uh, Almas uh, Fronterizo is going to perform a little uh, live, intimate for the... A little intimate uh, song from uh, Rosa Tropical um, and some new, new you music that we're working on. Just uh, talk in front of the mic so we, we can hear your voice better. Yeah, like that, yes. Just, uh, yes, there just you go. to recap, a uh, little live session will definitely go down. Um, some music from Rosa Tropical and a new uh, song, Linda Morenita. Hopefully, be able to play that for you guys. Yeah, here it's a little intimate setup, no? but uh, you know, it, we make it happen. Cool. So, why don't you, why don't you play another song when we're getting ready here on the studio yeah. from your selection? Actually, let's throw on, um, let's throw on, uh, a Rudy song to get give you guys a taste of, right. of what's gonna happen at the Boom Boom Room. Um, this is Los Canarios by Rudy de Anda.
that was Rudy Deanda with this uh, soulful psychedelic vibes. Um, he's uh, he's going to be the headliner on Thursday, you know? Um, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. It's going gonna to be in the bill, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's coming up from L.A. Uh, for the show. Um, I mean, both Almas and Rudy are, are forces to be reckoned with. So I think more of a co-headliner, I think, is it, right. it's, you know, because, cause, uh, I don't know. I think it's <laughs> legit. I think they're both. They're both, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, boomboomroom.com this Thursday. Um, $8 pre-sale, $10 at the door. Uh, not too expensive and for, for a full night of, of party and, and good times. I'll be spending vinyl, too, uh, in between. So I'll be keeping it tropidelic as well uh, with, some, with some similar vibes to, to the playlist. Let's, uh, yeah, you mentioned spinning the vibe. So you are a, a DJ music selector, no? What, what happens mu- is... Music lover. What happens, yeah, exactly. I'm just like a, a music lover and, uh, and my, my hobby, my very expensive hobby <laughs> of buying records. Okay. Um, I figured, I was like, okay, well, I buy all these records and I love listening to them at home and I love uh, playing them for when people come over to the house and we're just chilling. Um, might as well, like, you know, start, start kind of being a little bit more selective. Like sharing also. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. So instead of just buying every record that I find, um, maybe be more selective with the records that I that I would buy anyways. But instead of spending a hundred bucks on records, maybe I spend forty with more a carefully curated thing, and and just do do my parties that way. So if essentially what it is, it's my, when people tell me, oh, what kind of music you spend? Like just the music that I would play if you came to my house and we were drinking, mm-hmm. you know, just like yeah. m- making food and and drinking upbeat. Um, and, and just good time, good time tunes. Also, you know, um, you in your music blog, uh, you curate um, this, um, uh, y- you know, music blog yeah. called Fresh Pops. Yes. No? yes, There is actually before we were talking <laughs> here, like <laughs> offline, there is kind of a similarity with Espresso Sesh because there is uh, the both shows like both we things that are like coffee related. Yeah. No? And uh, what you do, like what you were talking, like telling me, like was that. Uh, you like uh, like a fresh brew, like fresh pod every morning, you know? You so the idea, yeah, yeah. the idea is uh, in or instead of you, or not instead, but the idea of you bring a fresh pot of coffee in the morning to get your day started, uh, our playlists are that fresh pot to get your day started in the morning. So we have these four different roasts or blends, coffee blends. Uh, one of the blends is the Tropidelic blend. Uh, the another blend is the Gimme Danger roast or blend that has more loud, rock, aggressive, fast music. We have the Terminally Chill, which is more ambient, chill wave, uh, soundscape-y type of music. And then we have the Bitches Brew, which is more jazz, hip-hop, soul, funk. Uh, and, and those are all their distinct flavors. And obviously, you know, music, it's, it's not always in this, you know, it's not a boxed category, but it's just kind of, it's a vibe. It's a it's a morning. It's a mood, you know, so it's a sometimes you have a light coffee. Sometimes you have a cold brew, you know, that's going to kick you in the balls. Yeah. So it just depends on on depends on what you need. Yeah, and exactly. A, and also the good thing is the in of music is that um, it's always there. No? Yeah. So for any any demands that you particular no, you need like a little more energy or chill. Yeah, like. exactly. And it's cool because um, like us music lovers, I feel like I if somebody asks me to make them a playlist at work or something like I have no problem doing it, you know, cause it's, it's fun and, and I love it. So I, I ask bands and artists to do the same mm-hmm. and it's very simple. Like you, you ask and they usually say yes. So we've had, um, Brian chase from the yeah, yeah, yes. He's contributed. Dale Crover from the Melvins has contributed. Um, I mean, Rudy de Anda, actually Rudy de Anda was the first mm. playlist we posted on uh, first uh, guest, guest playlist. playlist. Okay. So he put together an awesome playlist. Um, so that's cool too. Uh, we just have people from all over the musical spectrum, jazz heads, uh, rock, you know, band people. They all put up their playlist, and and it's cool to see to see uh, how their almost kind of influences. You, you hear like. Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum from the Bay Area. Sleepy Time, shout out. They're, they're amazing. I have a Sleepy Time tattoo. Um, they, they put together this playlist. It's like an encyclopedic playlist. It's like two hours long. And I listen to it. I'm like, aha, uh-huh. now I get like, this makes perfect sense. Okay. And uh, it's cool. It's cool to have that. And it's free. And, and it's, just a, it's just a way to, to nerd out more <laughs> on music and, and, and get going. 
And also, you know, the Tropidelic Night at the Boom Room this Thursday, it's uh, like the it's like one of these playlists that came out to life. No? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like exactly. That's the idea is yeah. is bring that to life. And and, you know, yeah, that's exactly the idea. And hopefully, hopefully, I mean, uh, shout out to Franco in San Diego because Fresh Pots is is myself and my partner Franco, who lives in San Diego. And uh, he puts on the Gimme Danger Night uh, in San Diego right now. And uh, he's working on another thing. So hopefully it becomes, ideally, fingers crossed, would be like a Fresh Pots Festival. You know, and there'd be like the Tropidelic stage, the Gimme Danger stage, Terminally Chill stage, and the Bitches Brew stage. Um, You know, big, big term, big goals or whatever. But but that's that's um, it's definitely it's a direction to go. You know, yeah. like give you you know like perspective or yeah. And um, so you come in from San Diego, no? Yeah. Like you just got here like uh, four years ago, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. How you see the uh, the, the music community? What's your? Uh, it's funny. I was just I was just t- I was just telling Gilberto uh, on the way here. Um, Tijuana specifically, the music scene. I from from what from what I uh, remember or from when I was there, it was, it was tighter. It wasn't as saturated. So there's, there's the mustache, there's Mahmood brewery. There's a couple bars, but everybody goes to everybody's shows. Yeah. Um, and I, and I think that's really cool here. I mean, you, you, you can go to like, uh, what's the place over there on Hayes Valley, um, next to Kala tacos, the rickshaw, rickshaw, the rickshaw. The rickshaw. Yeah. That's a cool venue. Yeah. Um, that's about as close as, as like a san diego vibe like the place in san diego and tj and tj the mustache uh san diego either soda bar space bar or the casbah um i used to live close by to the casbah and the casbah and the rickshaw are the closest where people would just go to go and that's kind of have like a hub you know but um here it just seems like you, you have there's so many there's so many options man <laughs> you know like You got a show at, at Madrone on Thursday. There's the Boom Boom Room happening on Thursday. I'm sure there's something cool happening at the rickshaw. Um, yeah. You know, there's always something happening. So in San Diego, it's, it's, uh, it's not as saturated. But, I mean, there's, there's cool stuff here, too. And you got Oakland, which is not that far, you know. Yeah. Uptown always has good music. Um, there's just so much happening. Yeah, no, here there is uh, so much happening, even though like the gentrification is coming and some of the venues are closing, but yeah. still, you know, there are, and there's yeah. a lot of, um, yeah, fortune, oh, you know, logging on food because, yeah. uh, you know, there is, uh, there is some um, uh, food for thoughts for uh, like music lover and, uh, you yeah. know, musician and uh, there are like places to play and this music is still. Um, yeah, one of my favorite things here in San Francisco is the the birdie a go-go party mm-hmm. i think that's like the, that's like the idea of of something well curated themed um and it's it feels local it feels like a community people dress up everything's decorated um i think i think that's really cool and i think it's a way to kind of engage the newer you, you know the newer people that have lived here even myself i mean i'm not i'm not i'm not from here but uh but it's a way to to kind of get random people in, into cool music into random cool themed parties so I, i think those guys are doing a cool job have you been to, to one of their shows uh, or I mean, it's like french like french pop like french pop parties and psychedelic yeah, yeah. french music it's cool yeah there, are, there is uh, there is uh, there is, uh, there is a nice music <laughs> off the ear in san francisco yeah <laughs> still, it's nice because I mean? it's so international uh which which gets gets you all sorts of different flavors um yeah it's fun So it's also challenging to like put up an event, put out an event, and uh, definitely, you know. um, w- yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do for the next one. But within the veins, uh, there's a there's a cool band from Oakland called Orchestra Gold. Mm-hmm. Um, they they are also fit in the tropidelic. They play uh, mo- rock music from Mali in the 1960s. So they yeah, like yeah. they do like a time capsule thing, and it's this like fuzzy, uh, fuzzy Afrobeat rock from Afri- African Mali uh, yeah. fuzzy rock and it's and it's dope so uh, those guys would be cool but there's so many so many options man <laughs> you know it's almost like too many yeah uh, that's good man that's good you it's know? a good option <laughs> it's a good yeah it's a good option it's a to first have. it's a good pro- problem first, first world problem yeah let's uh, let's play another song uh, and yeah. then you get ready um, Gilberto to play uh, like uh, some live yeah love to. yes um, So I'll do, um, speaking of the Birdie at Go-Go Party, I don't, I don't know much about this girl, Clothilde, Clotilde. 
uh, I think she's she's French, but she does a cool song in Italian. Okay. So um, I'll throw that on. Yes. Ready for me? Yes.
te va a gustar, que si te va a gustar, el mar es muy bonito, el mar es muy bonito, en la playa, dale amigo, hey, en el ancha, va a bailar, se dice en el ancha. And here G Flux. Also, shout out to G Flux. He was here a couple of uh, couple of episodes ago. Actually, today is the 170 okay. episode, and he was here for the 150. So 20 episodes Damn. ago. I I listened to that to that. Ep- I saw uh, you yeah? posted. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Check it out. Yeah, nice. That's how I heard about your show. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, it's a sm- small world. You yeah, know? Yeah. <laughs> we're getting to know each other. And we're yeah, figuring out like there's lots of uh, lots of common friends mutual friends uh, you know yeah it's uh, one of the the good good and the bad things in san francisco no yeah, like everybody, uh, yeah. everybody knows each other so or knows that per- it's like oh i know that guy so well it's like oh okay yeah yeah makes sense but actually nobody knows each other because yeah. everybody <laughs> thinks they know each other but nobody knows anyone yeah anyways yeah <laughs> with the san francisco story anyway uh talking about san francisco you, you were mentioning that uh, uh the sudro bats they were selling the the cds the album of uh, alma fronteriza yeah. huh? his vinyl uh, the yeah, vinyl. His vinyl yeah so you know oh yeah it's cool was, that uh, um, the first the first record we put out and uh, they managed to put it inside the store um and that's the self-titled almas fronterizas it was a three-piece back in the day um but now we've expanded to over eight members eight members oh, okay <laughs> so you're gonna be in eight um, uh, this thursday like the old the full band oh yeah the full band the full band, band. okay Damn. yeah so nice. let's talk about almas fronteriza so we guys start uh, with your your story so almas fronterizas was um my cousin and i karim rodriguez my first cousin and we took a trip to oaxaca mexico and we started um, using a lot of the songs that you know we had um you know growing up uh you know writing songs since the early age we love music um there's 12 uncles and aunts on our dad's side and almost all of them are musicians yeah <laughs> so you know that influence of the the music was always strong and you know barbecues um uh family parties um there's also a strong um just love for social music social political music silvio rodriguez pablo milanes um roy brown uh a lot of music, uh, Mercedes Sosa, and so our, our parents gravitated towards that. So growing yeah. up, that was uh, what we saw and what we what we liked. But we also liked, you know, everything from jazz to to, to rock to um, uh, acid jazz, anything really. And uh, starting this trip in Mexico, my cousin and I started the band Almas Fronterizas. It was just two of us, okay. and then expanded to a three piece, and we got to play at a lot of uh, native communities. Um, uh reservations um tribal territories in mexico uh comcac nation and sinaloa uh zapatista new year um pine ridge uh indian reservation um all over um hoopa in northern california and they were was uh, like a few years ago they were like mm-hmm. yeah so and the band has been uh yeah oh yeah now now we uh focused on recording and playing at clubs more but for the beginning yeah. of the 
the band, we started uh, our grassroots mm, musical presentations were mostly in tribal territories, um, reservations. Yeah, I see that. Cool. That's that's the origin. That's of the origin. Almas. And, and that's, that's what. It, sorry, that's what Almas Fronterizas is like. The your soul is in between that community and and here. Is that what kind of what that means? Mm-hmm. It's like a free soul. Almas Fronterizas, like nothing can hold the soul. It's yeah. It flies. Okay. It's dope. And um, so, th- you guys uh, have this album out. Um, uh, this yeah. this vinyl. Yeah. This. Um, mm-hmm. This uh, new um, project that we have coming up in uh, the summer is going to be released by Names You Can Trust out of uh, New York City. Oh, yeah. Nice. And uh, they're going to put out two two singles, two seven inches for us. Um, one of them is going to be Almas Fronterizas, going to be Linda Morenita and Cruel Desperation. So that's going to be very exciting. And then there's another project, um, Gilberto Rodriguez y Los Intocables, kind of a solo project. Okay. And um, we have a song called Ale Ale. And it's going to be um, instrumental on one side and with the vocals on the other. Very excited for that to, to come out this summer. Nice um, and it's going to be our seventh and eighth um, musical release on vinyl. Cool. Very excited. That's nice. Awesome. That's a great label. Yeah. Names yeah. You Can Trust is a great yeah. label. Yeah. Everything is fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All their reissues. It, yeah, they're great. Yeah. Went out earlier this year to work with uh, Eric Benta from Names You Can Trust and you know, we stayed maybe till two, three in the morning just listening to rare cuts, um, music that he had released that he didn't even release on his own label, but under uh, secret labels um, was essentially still names you can trust and Eric Benta, but, uh. you know, just just amazing guy. And his work ethic is I'm sure. very, I'm sure, yeah. very great. Nice. That's that cool. sounds great. Uh, and are you playing something here? You, you have the guitar? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to play. The uh, only the only thing probably we should sh- uh, shut the fan because it's like, psh- yeah, uh, uh, yeah, just for uh, the performance. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna turn this guy. You wanna overdrive? Let's see. That's, that's that's okay. You want the overdrive again? That, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Let's so see if we can try something out here. Yeah, with a little intimate performance. Yeah, espresso sesh. Alma Fronteriza. Baby, 
understand that I got a sentimental feeling running deep in my veins. Yeah. Ooh, my love for you, you know, I can't let it go. No, baby, understand that. That was Linda Morenita, little cut. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. It was great. This uh, single's gonna come out with uh, Eric from Names You Can Trust later this summer. Um, we're gonna have in the arrangement of uh, percussion, drums, uh, flute, uh, saxophone, and bass. So, uh, full, full orchestral, uh, full, band. full band. Okay. So, looking forward to that. You wanna play another one while you? Uh, yeah, I'll actually uh, do one last number. Um, this one's called Rosa Tropical. Dope. This is from our last EP, and it's off the um, Rosa Tropical 10 inch. <laughs> Alma Fronterism and uh, this gonna be it's gonna be performing live um, this Thursday at Boom Boom Room with an eight piece band. Uh, this was right. just uh, thank you for doing like a little intimate performance. Yeah. Yeah. Taster teaser. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how long you you moved in the? Do you, do you guys live in San Francisco, no? Like Bay Area. Yeah, I've been here for about ten years. Ten years. Okay. Yeah. 
10 plus years been uh, going from San Francisco to Oakland, um, back and forth. Uh, you know, whenever a spot falls through, there's another <laughs> spot. Maybe there isn't a spot. Maybe there is a spot. Uh, but still in the bay, you know, generally like ping-ponging from one side to the other That's of the right. bay. Yeah. I like that, ping-ponging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Oakland is cool. No, it's uh, pretty cool. So, um, it's yeah. <laughs> Sometimes cooler, I mean, cooler than San Francisco. I don't know, sometimes, all the time, but yeah. Dif yeah, dif different musical scenes, different yeah, you know, different energy vibrations in both areas. I, um, I enjoy both of them. You enjoy both of them, yeah. You think there is um, like a particular uh, uh, Bay Area music vibe or, you know... Who is the sound? I would say for the most part, uh, the world that I surround myself in, um, you know, there's a there's a strong um, world and strong um, uh, indigenous musical vibration, you know, be that Afro-Latin indigenous or be that, um, you know, different spheres within that musical terrain. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of great groups. Sonido Clash out of San Jose. Um, there's um, bands like Calafia Armada in the East Bay. Calafia Armada, shout out! Yeah, they came here. Actually, they play in six in this. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're a great, That's great awesome. group. Um, we have a show coming up with them, July 26 at the Ivy Room, and um, I know they do monthly residency at. Estrellita, bro. Estrellita, yes, yeah. in, uh, <laughs> in Oakland. Um, so in terms of groups and, um, you know, sound, that, that's usually, you know, where we surround ourselves with, um, you know, Combo Teseta out in the East Bay, too. Yeah, those guys um, are dope. There's, there's a lot of good music going on. Um, also, out here in San Francisco, the psych, the psych scene, um, there's uh, bands like... Um, Sugar Candy Mountain. Sugar Candy Mountain. There's Andrew and Moya doing some music out here. Um, Gregorio Figueroa has a band that he leads out here. Um, I think for the most part, the the music we surround ourselves with is is um, you know um, based in Afro Latin indigenous. There's a lot of musicians that I play with um, here from uh, San Francisco Mission. Akil Mistair, amazing percussionist. His band Soltron. Um, yeah. It's a great, great, you know, sound. And yeah, I went out from that. Yeah, in. they came here too. <laughs> Back yeah. in, uh, they, they had the first show at the Great American Music Hall. I'm yeah. talking about 2016, bro. Yeah. Amazing yeah. musicians. Cool, yeah. Actually, some a lot of those musicians are on um, the last album, Sabor Maracuya Desnuda, um, that we put out. So, that, was a, beast. that was a great show. Oh, the yeah. Legionnaire. That was oh, fun, yeah. man. I re more people should have been there. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that's another venue that always yeah. you know has a, a yeah. pulse on, on the the music. Yeah, Legionnaire, um, the Starline, um, Eli's great so, venues. So you know there is um, and like from uh, like I'm like repeating what you say. Uh, like there is a good, uh, there is nice community here. There is so much music going on and. Um, yeah, so it's not like uh, San Francisco's and the Bay Area still has a, uh, its soul, no, and uh, it's a vibrant still, you know, like yes. sometimes we paint it like, oh no, it's gone, San Francisco is over. No, it's not over, guys. Like, you it's just have to look <laughs> for it. You just, yeah. have to, you just have to look for it. Look it for it, yeah. It's a little bit of extra work, you know, to, to go to the Legionnaire to go or whatever, but um, also the. Uh, uh, amnesia mm -hmm. here is a great spot they always have good music over there um yeah there's you just gotta you just gotta put in the time just mm -hmm. you know like step out of the comfort zone and yeah. the magic is gonna happen yeah you know, exactly just you know like there is so much some like you know i had no idea i i mean i still uh, i still wonder every day you know like about the new discoveries of um, like this community can can happen huh? yeah first time i saw almas was at the Artillery, uh, oh, yeah. that, that artillery. workshop. Yeah, yeah artillery. Sh Shout out to Alex. Uh, Alex yeah, uh, you know, there's spots like that where, where you just have to kind of take a chance or or you just, yeah, like get out of your comfort zone and, yeah. and you'll find dope music. Um, yeah, you just got to do it. Go see live music. Yeah, so for example, this Thursday, get out of <laughs> your <laughs> comfort zone no, and go to the Boom Boom Room. 
if you are around the, in the Fillmore district. No, you know. Yeah, correct. Yeah, there is uh, so many events going on. Yes. Let's play another song from uh, your playlist that you curated. Uh, yeah. For this. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, I'll do. I'll do um, this band Miramar from Virginia. Um, shout out to them. They're on. They put out this single on Daptone Records and. They're so great. They're they're like a throwback. Um, I want them to play my wedding. Marlis, play my mm. wedding. Um, so shout out to Miramar. Salida.
and you're listening to BFF.fm Espresso Sesh. the song before you were telling me that um, that song is called Esclavo Llamo um, the version we heard it was from the Ecocentrics Adrián Quesada's project but it's a cover originally by Javier Solis who's a Mexican uh, rancheras, boleros, romanticas singer and um, and my grandma loves it when I sing that song so so whenever we have parties or or big celebr- or everybody's together um Either we'll put it on the Bluetooth or they'll have the mariachi or the trio come in. And that's always like my answer. I was like, go sing, go sing, go, go make sing. your grandma happy. Yeah. And I love I love singing. I mean, it makes me happy too. 
so so that's a that's a special song that song is great because i first heard it i think the, the first version i heard wasn't even the original it was from a group called uh, los pasteles verdes mm. from uh, i think they're peruvian or whatever but there's so many iterations of that song and and uh my my mom actually she's like that's a old javier solis song and i didn't even know mm -hmm. and that's how you know the song is so good you know like mm -hmm. the because 70s yeah. 70s ver 70s like rock version is fire the ecocentrics version is fire so obviously the more stripped down the original, ranchera yeah. original is fire nice. so um, yeah I, i love that song and i need to uh, i need to i need to step up my my that that world of music more because yeah. there's so much man there's so much and they're all great augustine lara has like you know hundreds of songs that you can just they're all they're just they they they're like he's like a modern or not a modern day in his time like exactly. the classical uh beethoven's mozart's those, those types of guys they just mm -hmm. they write those standards you know they wrote the standards there was a classic and then yeah. uh, became like you know like di different generation yeah you use it and uh, reuse it re and rework it and yeah yeah um there's a great actually there's a great um covers album it's more it seems more of like an homage um Uh, by Mike Patton called Mondo Kane. Yeah, Mondo Kane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Mondo Kane. Yeah, yeah Mon that's one of my favorite one of my favorite records. Um, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, that was, it was a great project. Yeah, orchestral. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's lots of yeah. And all those songs I've I've gone out, and that's a great. That's also a great way to find music, right? Like uh, for nerds, like like you and me, right? Like oh. Who did this 20 kilometri al giorno? Who who did that song? Yeah. And then you go and like, oh, Sandro, whatever. And then you yeah. listen to all his music. So it's those types of projects, covers, um, remixes, and all that stuff. I think it's it's great. Like I, I've always called it Mon Mondo Cane, but I, it makes sense, Mondo Cane. So yeah, it's I a mean, dog's world. Uh, yeah, it's um, apparently so. There is a there was a movie uh, in the 60s like about this Mondo Cane. There was kind of like a cult movie because it was like a like a big movie that was cult for some uh, among uh, like some specific I don't I don't I cannot recall right now yeah, yeah but uh, yeah so it was um, yeah it's a great it's a great album it's, yeah and all those songs are so good and again like they're catchy now or they're good they stand the test of time so those guys wrote. Yeah. amazing songs to begin with yeah and they actually i saw them uh, live at the, no. uh, at the fucking um, uh, uh, bluegrass yeah uh, hardly strictly. strictly i saw that yeah i saw that recently on youtube yeah like, how did i miss that yeah that, that was a long oh time ago. my god I think it was 12, 2012 yeah or, oh my god. Eight, or 11 was a, was a minute ago yeah Oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah, this I'm is so a, another great thing that is in San Francisco. Yeah, there. one of my uh, yeah. hardly strictly like yeah. it's fucking seven stage. Yeah, stages, free music. Yeah, like free in the park, Golden yeah. Gate Park. So you know, this is something that is very unique that we have here, and oh we my shouldn't God. take it for granted. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, favorite my friend, my favorite, yeah, favorite festival. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, my friend from San Diego who is really into bluegrass and folk and that type of music. He plays that type of music too. He's like, I'm coming up. I'm staying at your house for this festival. And and honestly, before that, before he came up before that festival, I was kind of like a little ignorant to that music. I, it's just there's so much I, I haven't gotten to that point. But uh, we saw Gillian Welch. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, dude. It was like a religious experience. We oh, weren't yeah. even on anything. We weren't even drinking. Oh, yeah. um, we were just up front at the very, very front where we couldn't even see her. The speaker was blocking us, but we just heard everything. And it was amazing. So we've made it a point to go every year, because uh, why not? You know, it's like a free festival yeah. of amazing music. We saw Randy Newman there. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was super fun. Uh, that was great. Um, who, uh, Ro uh, Rocky Erickson, we saw too. Uh, recent or last year, Henry Rollins spoke mm. uh, two years ago, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah. another good things that is here <laughs> yeah for sure one of the i think one of the best things i mean it doesn't get much better than a free music festival in golden gate park yeah. right like outside lands that's like 400 dollars a, a ticket you know yeah, like exactly and then it's nothing the same you know? yeah no this is 
this it's it's mostly acoustic music you know for the masses yeah there are uh, there are different i mean not just uh, bluegrass there are yeah. different like mondogane was uh, god like that's uh, i'm so jealous yeah, i'm so full jealous. orchestra you know i'm so <laughs> jealous he saw that now he does like chile colombia he only goes down to south america uh, yeah okay yeah for for those types of shows when i first moved here I was like thinking like, man, I'm going to see so many Mike Patton projects, you know, I'm going to be in the Bay, I'm going to see him play all these secret shows. Uh, and I, and I, only, only the chapel with John Zorn, that's, that's happened. But um, I just got to, I got to keep my eye out for more Mike yeah, Patton exactly. shows. Like, oh, stalk. <laughs> stalk. Stalk. Yeah, stalk just stalk him. him. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, if you're listening. If you listen, you know, d tell me uh, <laughs> what you're doing next because, yeah. you know, like I'm a little disappointed. Like, yeah. In the... Um, no, he he's he does a lot of cool stuff too. He does like a, a video game sound uh, voice voices for video games and yeah. and movie soundtracks. And he did that record with um, with uh, uh, Dave Lombardo from Slayer and oh Justin yeah. Pearson. Uh, I forget the, the the band, but it's it's cool hardcore band. Um, yeah, like a, another cool guy that does just a lot of, a lot of music. Yeah, Bay Area proud. Yeah, actually, you know, it was yeah, Fred No More like the yeah. I got to see I got to see the Faith No More uh, saw, original yeah. original band reunion at the Great American before Chuck passed away, which is cool. Um, I mean, I pr obviously prefer the Mike Patton version a lot better, but that's a, it's a different band. It's a yeah. it's a funky thing. Also, Mr. Bungle, when is that happening? You know, come on, Mike. Let's mm. the people are hungry. Yeah, <laughs> or thirsty, or whatever. If you are listening, you know what you do. <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite venue here in the Bay Area? You guys, both. both for um, I mean, that doesn't have to you perform yeah. there, like in general. Yeah, yeah, in general. Well, it's more like the more the, you like more, you know, for a reason. The first venue I went to here, uh, I really liked the Warfield. I saw Refused. That was cool. But I recently went to Eli's. That's mm -hmm. a in, in Oakland. That's a great, intimate venue. Um, the guys there, the guys that run the place, are awesome. It honestly depends, man. Like the Boom Boom Room, honestly, is is one one of the reasons why I moved up to the Bay. I mean, three o'clock, three three to four a.m. Jazz funk, live jazz funk music. Uh, it, it's awesome, and people are just dancing. They're having a good time. It's n it's not so much like uh, you know whatever. It's 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 just an open dance party, mm -hmm. and yeah. people of all ages are there. Um, drinks are cheap. Um, it's a great it's a great space. So I think I think the Boom Boom Room is definitely the most unique. Um, mm. I think so. Between that or Eli's, they they still have the the boot reserved to yeah Ray Charles yeah. Um, Xander gets to sit there. Xander only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what about you? I would but say um, the old Yoshi's was amazing. Oh, yeah. Fillmore. You should. Um, can you talk a little closer to that? Amazing, yeah. amazing music over at uh, the old Yoshi's in Fillmore. George Clinton. I got to see um, Shabazz Palaces there. So, um, one of the more interesting venues we got to play with at was uh, the Brava Theater. Um, the Mission. Huh. Um, recently played at the Cafe du Nord. That was that was a treat. That's, That's a, a cool very spot special too, yeah. venue. Yeah. Um, I'd never been there before. Uh, with Combo Chimbita, hands down, killed it. Um, yeah. Eli's, I, I echo that. Eli's is amazing. Yeah, there's a lot to, to choose from. They treat you well at Eli's too. Mm. They really they really treat you well. Um, which is nice. Yeah, the uh, the the Cafe du Nord was uh, recently renovated. No. Yeah. yeah. They do mostly like yeah. We used to or went a couple times for late night oyster happy hour. They used mm -hmm. to do, they used to do like dollar oysters late night, which was nice. Before they, before they they reintroduced the the live music mm -hmm. uh, component to it. So that's how I that's how I first heard about Cafe du Nord when I first moved here. Um, uh, late night oyster happy hour, hey. which is dope. We need that. Mm -hmm. We need more of late night oyster happy hour. We also need. Uh, we need a more aperitivo situation here, no? Oh yeah. Like I, like I, especially right now during this weather, like I need a, I need a, a nice aperitivo situation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with music <laughs> too. Like that'd be a good. That's a good idea. Like a good concept. Of, yeah. Of just like uh, aperitivo music, good food, good bites, small bites. Remember uh, that this place. weather is not gonna last that long, huh? Mm. 
but in in the brain it will it will be there yeah <laughs> it's uh, it's not san diego yeah, yeah i know i know actually it's it's hotter here than san diego my mom texted me yeah today, today yeah today yeah. yesterday yeah i said 106 on my car when i was driving damn. over the bridge damn <laughs> it's yeah. good it's yeah. keeping keeping us on our toes yeah keeping us honest we don't get too cocky here hey <laughs> All right, let's play one song for the for the hot weather. Okay, uh, for the hot weather, let's do it. Uh. And you're listening to BFF.FM Espresso Sesh every Tuesday uh, from two to four p.m. live in the Mission District. Vieni. Chi ti offre da bene, vieni, questa è l'ultima volta, che siamo insieme e parliamo di noi, poi sarà quel che sarà. Camino pa' adelante, 
en la calle ¿Qué me cuenta a mí? Entre luces suicidias ¿Qué me cuenta a mí? Yo suspiro del corazón algo único ¿Qué me cuenta a mí? La primavera negra, negra ¿Qué me cuenta a mí? Me rodea esa puerta negra ¿Qué me cuenta a mí? Baila, 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 olea ¿Qué me cuenta a mí? Olea como el mar suspira, suspira, olea Déjame cantar, déjame cantar Déjame tocar y besarte Nena chula, nena, nena chula
And there was Malo, Alma Fronteriza. Uh, it's kind of like a wrap up for the show today. It's 319. Um, I want to just, uh, I want to say thank you guys so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having us. Thank you, Gilberto and Bernie, Almas Fronteriza, Fresh Pots. Um, this Thursday at the, at the Boom Boom Room. Boom Boom Room. Um, uh, 9 p.m., 9.30. Yeah, uh, doors open at 8. Okay, uh, 8. But, and we'll have, uh, we're having three DJs on, so there'll be music. Uh, all night, but yeah, live music starts at at, at nine. Okay, live music yeah. starts at nine. Okay, doors yeah. at eight. Good Rare tunes. Soul, all these from uh, Raza del Sol out of San Jose and uh, Ray Velez uh, from here in San Francisco. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music from from some brothers. Cool. Tropide uh, Tropidelic Night, uh, Volume One. Volume, volume one, one, hopefully <laughs> edition one. <laughs> edition yes. one. Yeah. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Thank you. Almas Fr uh, Fronteriza for performing live, uh, Gilberto, yes. and bringing the good vibes. Uh, stay tuned on uh, BFF.fm because at 4 p.m. Uh, Astral Projection Radio Hour is coming in the house. And thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming here, guys. Of course. And uh, let's <laughs> let's close the song with another song from. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's do. Let's keep it. Let's keep it weird. Let's end it. Let's weird. get weird. Yes. All right. Uh, Deria Yildrim. I don't know where they're from actually. Keep it weird. Keep it tropidelic. Thank you so much. BFF FM Espresso Session.